you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Kaylin, and today we are getting into this very burgundy, yellowy eye moment, neutral lip. Ooh, she injected, I don't know, but that contour is snatched, okay? And so that is what we're going to get into today, and I really wanted to make sure that if you are a beginner, you are able to do this and wear it um, at that dinner table or, you know, with your friends, girlfriends, whatever you're doing. I really wanted to make sure that you guys were able to do this at home, so I'm trying my best in this video to explain everything that I'm doing. Let me know if you have any of those questions or you need any of that clarification. But without further ado, we are going to get into this really pretty kind of smoky liner smudged moment. All right. Mwah. Since we're also getting into dryer months, I do like to use a heavier cream. I'm using the Ultra Lit Blit Ultra Repair Cream by um, First Day Beauty. But you guys, I just gotta say thank you so much for all the love on my last video. I was blown away by the amount of people that kind of like came out of the woodwork and showed love and support and all of that on my last video. That was honestly so incredible. So thank you so much. I'm gonna really be in depth with this tutorial because I really want you guys to understand exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and all of that. So when I start with my brows, I really like to make sure that I go from the bottom to the top. So first, I map out my brow. I just find out where the bottom looks the most natural and then I drag that down to my tail. And then once I've got that bottom line on there, I like to begin working on the tail and then work my way forward. So I like to start right here where it's the most sparse and then I just lightly fill them in. I'm using the Goop Proof Brow Pencil um, by Benefit Cosmetics. And if you are a beginner, this is so easy and so nice to use. When I'm working more towards the inside of my brow, I like to take my brush and I like to just push that product that I've already placed up there before I start adding any more product up so that if I don't need any more product, I'm not going overboard and just putting more and more brow product on. And then I just like to focus on the sparser area. So I've got this little spot right here. First, we're gonna start out on eyes and I am going to first be using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer just to be the base. You could use a primer like Morphe's at home or you could use a concealer. I just like to use a concealer because I like it to blend with my foundation. It makes it easy, it sticks well, so you can do whatever you're more comfortable with. I know it can be confusing when to put on your eyeshadow before or after your foundation. Honestly, do it whenever you are comfortable. But the reason why a lot of people do put, and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier powder just to set those eyes so we don't get any creasing. The reason why people do that is so that if you get fallout or anything, you can clean it up and you don't have to worry about messing with your foundations. And if you have hooded eyes like mine and you're doing liner or something and you might need a pull on your face, sometimes your foundation will come off with the warmth of your fingers. So. Just do whatever you're comfortable with, but that is why people do it. So for this holiday fall inspired look, I'm gonna be using the Buxom, what is this? The Boss Babe Betty palette, and it's just got all these really pretty warm colors. I thought that this would be a really great palette to use because I felt like you guys at home might have something really similar, so I just wanted to make sure that I was keeping in mind that you guys might not have a lot of time to go out and buy something, so I wanted to just make it as easy and convenient for you guys as possible. So the first thing that I like to do in any eye look that I do is carve out my eye socket with a bone color or bronzy color. You could use something like this. You could use something like this one right here. I'm gonna go in with Invite Only in the Buxom palette. It's just this like nice neutral color, but it's honestly very similar to every shade that you will find in a contour palette or bronzer color. You can do whatever. So since I have hooded eyes, I like to look straight on. I start from the outside and then work my way in. I'm just going to take it, sweep it out. And if this gets messy out here, don't even stress because that's why we do our shadow first. And then I'm just gonna take that color, drag it in, let it go through my nose, and then I like to push it up from right next to my tear duct into my brow. And this just kind of carves out where your shadow will lay and it also acts as a really nice transition color. Now that we've got that on there, I'm going to be using Cashmere Craving, and I'm just going to use this on my lid just to kind of brighten that area. We're not going to be doing a cut crease in this look, but we are going to do a faux cut crease-ish kind of. I should also mention I'm using number 216 by It Cosmetics. I love their brushes. I think their brushes are so nice and so soft. Next for this look, I'm taking Work, and this is just a really simple burgundy with like a brown undertone under it. It's just like this really nice ball color, and I'm just going to take that 
on my brush, tap off any excess product because we don't want to go too heavy with this. And then I'm just going to use it to darken. With this, I'm kind of creating a V and I'm just lightly patting it into my lid, up on my eye socket bone. And then we are going to take our brush and then just use little windshield wiping motions and get that blended out. So when you're doing your shadows, if you start to notice that your shadows are skipping, kind of like how when you have a wrinkle and it will miss a couple spots and you'll get like these lines in your eye, just pull your eye a little bit and raise your brow and then commit to the blend. We're picking up a little bit more of work, but this time I'm doing it with a smaller brush that's just going to get a little more detailed and I'm picking up a little bit more product. Since I have hooded eyes, I want it to be seen when I'm, I'm looking straight on at you guys. And so I'm taking it, my crease is right here, right? But I'm putting it right above. And I'm getting a little skipping right here, so I'm just going to pull my lid and just follow that natural line. When you're doing this, just pick up a little bit of product at a time. You don't want to go in too heavy with um, a product and then have to like track back. So just make sure that you're picking up a little bit at a time and then blending it in. Picking up more if you feel like you want to, blend it out and then see how you feel. And if you want to go deeper, you go deeper. When I'm cleaning up makeup, I don't like to use a makeup wipe because they do have three of the harshest alcohols that you can really put on your face. So I like to use the warmth of my finger to really get that makeup cleaned up as I go. I'm going to pick up this Faster in this palette, and this is just like a burnt orange. Let me see if I can swatch it for you guys. Oh, God, I love that. So perfect fall, perfect for the holiday seasons, okay? So I'm just going to take it with my finger. And you can pat it, but if you really want the color to show up, take it and kind of swipe it a little. Now I have nails, so I can't swipe it too much. Then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush, and I'm just going to blend that out a little. So now that orange glitter is on, I'm going to take the gold status, and this is going to be the color that really shows through. I'm pressing it right where my pupil sits when I'm looking straight on, just leaving it right there. Then I'm taking my blending brush, and I'm just going to blend out those ends. Then we're going to pick up a little bit more of work, that berry burgundy color that we've been using. And we're going to put that right on that outer corner and really deepen that up and blend the two together. We're going to do a little faux liner smudged out moment on our eyes. And I really want to use a nice dark brown. So we're going to be using Unapologetic in this palette. This is like a nice ashy dark brown that almost kind of looks like a black, but... Oh my god, I just can't. And then I'm going to take this teeny, teeny, tiny little brush. Look at that. Look at that little brush. This is just like a little smudgy brush. And I'm going to pick that up dry. If you want, you can use a little setting spray. Boom, boom. And it'll make it a little bit more wet if you prefer the wet look. So first, I'm just going to start right here. There's a perfect spot where you stop doing your liner. For me, it's about right here. And this is where the liner meets up naturally with the lid over here. So I am just going to drag that. I like to do a wing liner. I did this look on my mom and I stopped right here and I smudged it out just a little bit on her eye and she has really nice round eyes. So you could stop and smudge it out right here if you wanted. When you're doing this and trying to create that kind of like fading wing, you want to apply pressure right here at the corner of your eye and then just lightly lift. When you've got your liner done, this is the time to look in the mirror and really take a close look at everything that you've done. You need to clean it up a little bit more, add a little bit more of that burgundy color in there, maybe fix the liner a little bit, add a little bit more shimmer. Go ahead, do that now, and um, without further ado, let's get into the face, the foundation. Our skin is nice and moisturized from what we did earlier in the video by putting on that moisturizer, and so I'm not actually going to use a primer with this, but if you do want to, um, I like to use pore filling primers, kind of whatever your vibe is. I'm just picking up a little bit of that foundation, and I'm going to start on my cheek, and I like to start on the perimeter of my face right here because somehow I always miss right here. So I like to make sure that I'm always getting that spot. Make sure that you do get your ear because you don't want your like Aunt Carol to be staring at your pink ear when you have like a really nice tanned face. She's gonna be like really confused and let's not do that to Aunt Carol, okay? And to build on your foundation, all you gotta do is let it sit, let it dry just a little bit and then go in with a second layer of that same foundation and you should get a more full coverage finish as you go. So I know sometimes full coverage foundations get a bad rap. Some people think they're too bad for, or they clog their pores and all of that good stuff. And the truth is, if you take care of your skin and your night routine and all of that, then 
you should have no problem. Sometimes people's skin reacts to silicone based products as well and not to give silicones a bad name in makeup silicones are actually a very expensive ingredient that is added into a lot of products to give it that pore filling look they are okay for your skin it just depends on how your skin reacts my skin personally doesn't actually like silicone even though i know that silicone is not the worst thing for your skin my skin prefers water-based foundations and this urban decay all-nighter is a water-based foundation so i've never had a problem with this foundation Make sure that when you're up around the perimeter of your forehead, you're pushing it in to your hairline so you don't have any of that funky like stop and white point like what I will get. And I like to do right behind my ears because there's nothing worse than having your hair up or something like that. Like at the end of the night playing board games and it's like Aunt Carol's coming in being a little bee and she's like, what is that light on your face? Like, you know what it is, honey. Like, well, you know, okay? So now I'm taking the Shiseido concealer, the same one that I use as the base on my eyes, and I'm going to place that right here. I know it looks like this is a lot of concealer, but it goes on a really soft, thin, teeny tiny layer. So then I like to do the little tip of my nose and then the bridge so that we can make my nose look a little thinner, okay? Then I'm just gonna take that same beauty blender and I'm just going to press that in. I love this concealer, you guys. This is my favorite concealer. I know some people are like gung ho about tart tape. Tarte Shape Tape. I cannot speak today. What is happening? I don't understand. I know a lot of people love Tarte Shape Tape, but I love this because it's more of a satiny, soft, skin-like finish. She has cheekbones. I like to bring the concealer right up here. You don't have to do dots. I don't know why I'm doing dots. Oh, Jesus Lord. I like to make sure that I'm putting it right up here because I feel like it brightens my cheekbones and kind of makes them look like... So with your nose, it is important to stamp press lightly be gentle honey because you want that highlight to really be powerful right there because that's what's gonna make your nose look teeny tiny okay then you're gonna take it same thing stamp it in makeup I really do believe there are no rules you do whatever the heck you want with that beauty blender anything but if you don't want your pores to show please don't be going like this don't be going like that don't be don't what is you doing baby if you don't want your pores to show Make sure you're stamping that into there, okay? Stamping that into there. Lord, help me today. I need some, I need some guidance, okay? So now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder. There's a lid on my makeup table. Don't hate. So I'm not baking. I don't want to bake too much because I still want this concealer to have a nice radiant satin finish. So um, I'm just going to do a little bit on my beauty blender, put a little bit on my nose, and then stamp it in the same spots that you did on the bridge of your nose. And then, like, I'm just going to really lightly do right where it creases, but that's it because I really like the radiant finish that this concealer gives. I don't want to get rid of that, so I'm just going to go right under my eye. We don't want our pores to show, right? So I'm just going to press it into the sides of my nose, a little bit on my chin because I don't know what's happening, but I'm getting pores on my chin and it's really freaking me out. And voila! That is what we call a nice snatched radiant bake, honey. So for my contour, I'm going to be using Humor Me by MAC. This is just like this really nice, cool contour. It is a bronzer technically, but I definitely would say it's on the cooler side of bronzer. And it also has a little tiny bit of warmth. So um, we ain't going to be looking like Wednesday Adams today, okay? Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to start right back here in my hairline. And when I do this, I press and push up. And I just like to carve out the first little bit. Go on the other side. So when you're doing your contour, you really do want to relax your face and kind of let it rest while you do it. Because that's how people are going to be looking at you. You're not going to be making all these faces. You want to relax your face and just stipple that, baby. Calm gives on when I gig. So I'm just taking my mirror and really putting it in the center of all this light around me and making sure that it is even on both sides because there's nothing worse than contour just each side of your face looking different. I mean, each side of my face looks different enough, so we don't need to add it to that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using a little more of that Humor Me, and I am taking this, pushing it into my hairline, and kind of, I like to create a triangle, get a little bit right here, and then do the same thing, push it into the hairline. I feel like this kind of just makes my forehead look a little smaller, because I feel like my forehead is enormous. So now I'm just going to take a clean makeup brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Humor Me, and we're going to get started on the nose contour, honey, and this is what changes the whole face. So I like to take it from the shadow that we did, Okay, so you guys have to tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite holiday? I love Thanksgiving. I'm very serious about it. I love hosting, and I never ever get stressed out when we're hosting. I have so much fun doing it, so I'm really excited that we're hosting, and my family's in town this year, which is crazy because we're never all um, in the same place at the same time, and I just feel so lucky and so grateful this year um, that we were able to have my mom and my sisters come, so 
it's really nice. For my cheeks, I'm using Peaches by MAC. This is one of my favorite blush colors of all time, and I'm just going to place it on my cheeks and then work her up. I think a little pink on the nose is also really cute and really feminine, so I like to kind of place that on my nose as well. Now that the face is basically done, we are going to go back in with a little bit of invite only. Um, again, you can use a neutral, a bronzer color, anything, and we're just going to put that on the bottom lash, finish up these eyes. It just kind of creates like a nice little warm color underneath your eyes. Such a pretty color for blue eyes. But tell me what you guys are doing for this holiday season. Are you guys traveling? Are you guys hanging with family? Friends? What are you doing? Do you I'm using Lashtopia by Bare Minerals, and I love this mascara. It is so underrated. For me to think a mascara is good, it has to give me lots of volume. It has to lay it on thick, but not get clumpy and all funky. When I'm doing my lashes, I always go over, like twice. And then I start from the back and go back up. One, two, one, two, and then one, two, out. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Lashtopia Bare Minerals. This is a newer one. I got this with um, one of their recent launches, and I love it so much. Okay, let's get started on the lips because this is a process and I want you guys to know exactly how I make my lips look hella injected, okay? Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is pick out a lip liner that is going to complement your skin tone and is right for your occasion. So I'm using Spice by MAC. I really like this one because it's got a brown tone, so perfect for the occasion. Not too dark, not too light. So first we're going to start on the top, the top border of my lip. And I'm just going to line where my lip naturally is. I am going to draw a little bit higher. Not too high, you don't want to look like a clown. You want to put a little more pressure in the center and then lift as you get into your natural line over here. Create that shadow. I've got a brush hair stuck on my face. I don't like to do this on top because then massage vibes and then I my vibe, you know. Then I'm going to take spice again and I'm going to pull my lip back. My lip starts right here but I'm going to go a little lower. A lot lower. Then I'm taking this nude ultra glossy lip from Colourpop. I spent like seven dollars on this. One of my best purchases of all time. And I'm just gonna put that right in those pouty areas. Boom, done. We're taking a little bit of MAC lip glass and I'm putting it on my finger so that I can dab it so I don't move any of that product around. Start in the center. Oh my God, look at that shine, oh my God. All right, so this lip right here completes this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see if you guys are going to try out this look. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment below. I will be in the comments and I will be helping you out um, because I really wanted to make sure that if you were a beginner or if you were seasoned, whatever stage you were in makeup, you could do this look at home, no problem. And I really wanted to make sure that you guys could use neutrals and colors that you would also have and not have to go out and buy. So if you guys are looking for substitutes for colors or anything, please let me know. I am more than happy to help you. You guys can find me on Instagram at Cordially K. If you want to DM me, I will be there as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for hanging with me. And let me know if you guys are going to be wearing this for the holidays this year or if you're going to be wearing it for fall, going into winter whatever. Um, until next time, I just want to say thank you so much, you guys, for watching my videos. I'm so, so very grateful for each and every one of you. And seriously, thank you so much for the love on my latest video, the one before this. Um, I was really, truly blown away by the amount of people that kind of came out of the woodwork and just showed love and support. And that was just so incredible. So thank you so, so much. Um, and until next time, bye, beauties.